Something has changed within me Something is not the same I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game Too late for second guessing Too late to go back to sleep It's time to trust my instincts Close my eyes and leave We have here at this conference over 300 participants staring out at this room of immediate friends and family just like I'm just really getting the clamps you know it's really amazing um, it's extra exciting because this is also the fifth anniversary of the foundation I can't believe yeah. hear a lot of ideas today and tomorrow about how to give them more. And I hope you'll leave here with some amazing golden nuggets of information that you couldn't have found anywhere else. And today, you're gonna to hear a lot about our research, and it's so exciting. I hope it fires you up and instills in you the same sense of hope and action that it instills in me. You're also gonna have the chance to connect with other parents, and my wish for every single one of you is that you leave here with a new friend. Tomorrow you will have the opportunity to hear some of the top experts in the world with regards to AAC and different communication modalities. And as strongly as I feel about finding treatments and a cure for our kids, finding bio, I feel that strongly about AAC as well. I believe strongly in working for a better future for our kids. That's the mission for, of our foundation, of course. But I never want that to be at the expense of helping our kids now. And by far, I believe the best way to help our kids now, more than any therapy, is to give them a voice. And that's why I'm so excited about these communication gurus that will be here tomorrow. And that gives, brings me to one of the most important things I have learned on my journey, entirely, by the way, from mistakes that I've made. And that is to presume confidence for our loved ones. And I know a lot of us here who have been to a few conferences know what that means. I didn't know what it meant at first. So I just want to share. To presume confidence means to assume your child or the other person with special needs does and can understand when they are being spoken to and of. Presume confidence means to talk to your child or the other person as you would at the same age non-special needs person. How many of you parents out there have been told that your school-aged child has the cognition of an 18-month-old or a 24-month-old? Or worse yet, how many of you have been told this about your teenage or adult child? It makes me cringe. It makes my blood boil. And I want all the kids in here to know I don't believe it. Not for a single second. I believe in you, we believe in you, and if you hear nothing else today, hear me on that. Sure, it's important to measure improvement in cognition. This is true for the educational world and for clinical trials. But most testing methods are still not designed to accommodate kids like ours with complex communication needs. And they usually rate our kids very poorly and very inaccurately. I share this because I care very deeply about how my son and how all of our kids are perceived and represented. And more than anything, I don't want them to be underestimated. Because individuals with Pitt-Hopkins syndrome feel and understand the same way we do. The notion that they are always happy or cheerful and don't understand their limitations, it just simply isn't true. Thanks to AAC, Calvin has told me how much Pitt-Hopkins frustrates him and that he wants a cure. I know Ian has told Jessica similar things. Last week we were reading Pinocchio together and the fairy turns Pinocchio into a real little boy and we were talking about what you would wish for and Calvin spelled on his talk board, wish, talk. Our kids understand loneliness, discrimination, and disappointment, to name a few. So today, more than anything, I want to honor our kids. I want to say to all of you right now, you are not less than. You, if anything, 
are more than. You are more dedicated, you are more tolerant, you are more courageous, you are more hardworking. And I don't want to offend any of the PhDs in the room, so I will just go with, you are just as, you are just as smart. You may not be able to show it as easily, you may think differently, but you are just as smart. But all that said, you are more challenged. You have more struggles. You have unfair struggles, and I'm not gonna whitewash or deny that. You are brave soldiers, but we will respect you by honoring your struggle. So yes, we will fight every day for treatments for a cure so that you aren't trapped in your bodies that can't express what you want. So that you aren't ridden with pain and sensory discomfort. So that you may have the gift of verbal communication to build meaningful relationships that will sustain you on the hard and lonely days. But we can't just sit around and wait for that day. We promise to focus on the good and make opportunities for you now, too. says they're so some things i cannot change but till i try i'll never know too long i've been afraid of losing love i guess i've lost well if that's love it comes at much too high a cost and sooner by divine gravity kiss me good Bring me. 